Welcome back guys, we're back in another tutorial video. This time we're going to be going over how to install a forum on your WordPress site or blog. Forums are great because you can enable lots of different things for people to talk about and people wanting to come on uh, to your site. They can share lots of different subjects, start posts, um, add comments and stuff like that. So it's a really neat way of getting all your community sort of together. And for this, I would also suggest another plugin for memberships, and we do have another video that I'll leave a link for now. This would just make the whole registering, logging out, logging in, having a profile and stuff like that just much easier. As you can see, it gives you lots of options from your forum, your profile, members, subscriptions, activity. Um, you can go to each forum and just check out its content um, and stuff that people have posted. So with that, let's get to it. And from our main dashboard on our WordPress, we're going to come down to plugins. I'm going to go to add new on the top here. It's called Ascaros Forum, um, I'll leave it in the description also, I know it's a bit of a funny one to say. And as you can see here on the left hand side, we've got Ascaros Forum and we're going to go ahead and click install. Once installed, just go ahead and click activate. This will now take you back to your plugins page. Now installing it is very easy, if you want to come on to see uh, the installation process, just come on to your plugins go to Ascaros Forum, and then you can go to View Details. Um, from here, it's got the installation process. As you can see, it creates a new forum page um, automatically once you've installed it. However, if you do need the short code for this and you want to put it on other pages, this is the short code. So let's go ahead to Pages and check it out. And as you can see, we've got Forum. We have got Forum twice. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen, but we have got our pages automatically created. So let's go ahead and edit it to check it out. And let's go and see a live preview. So as you can see, it's only using the short code there of Forum. Let's go ahead and preview the page. And as you can see now, you have a forum. It's got the topics, posts, of how many views it's had, users, and how many are online. This works very well with a membership and login plugin um, that we've got on the other video. With the link in the description, I would suggest using that because you don't really have to do anything else. It all works together now. So once they've signed in, the forum will recognize them as a user. Now let's just make sure that we actually link the forum to the page so people can actually find it. So with that, let's head over to Customize. Then we're going to come over to Menus. From Menus, we're going to go to our main menu, which is Menu 1. And now this is where we can add the page and add it where we want it. So if we look on here in our pages, we've got Forum. So let's click that and click Add. It's popped up on the bottom there. And I'm going to go ahead and publish because that will be on the top right of the menu right here. Now, as you can see, if we go to home and then we click on to forum, we're going to be brought nicely to our forum here. Now, we're going to go through the forum categories in a sec, but if you um, you get given one by default, which is the first forum, to actually add a post to a forum, um, it's going to bring you to this page. And you can just click a new topic and people can just add new topics through here. You can subscribe to topics, um, change the lettering and such, and then you will submit and then it will show for everybody else. Of course, um, you can change your settings, but on the most part and default, it will be only for logged in users. You're going to notice that you now have the tab of forum on the main dashboard. So let's go through these settings now. Let's go to structure. Here it's going to show you um, your categories and you can also add categories as well. So if I wanted to add a category to the forum, I'd click that. We can name it. Um, access is here, so you can choose whether you want it for everybody for logged in users only or moderators only. So we're going to click as logged in users only. You can change the order of it here, whether you want it to be one or two, I'm going to put it as two. And you can change the user groups if you have got custom user groups as well. So let's go ahead and save and we should now see that we have the second forum pop up. So now that we have created this other category, we can now add a forum to it. So we can go ahead and fill this in as well. You can also choose whether it has a parent forum, um, so you could have the news as the parent forum and then news one as the child forum from it. You can choose an icon if you so wish. Um, the list of icons is on the link right here. And then you can change the status, whether it's normal, closed or if it needs approval. Let's go ahead and save that one. Now, as you can see, we now have two different categories, um, one which is uh, my first forum and the other one which is news one. So as easy as that, you can just add category with this button and then you can add a forum to each category so you can actually make more than one forum. So for news, I could have news one and then I could make another forum which is called news two. And you can also add sub forums from here on the right hand side. If you click that, very much the same process, you can make a sub forum. Now back to the tab over here and let's go down to appearance. Here you can choose from the font, um, the font size, forum colors, accent colors, text colors, um, and all of that stuff. So maybe take a few minutes, just check out um, just the way you want it. Obviously, the way it starts or the default is a sort of blue, white, gray color. And I won't go into this because this is quite self-explanatory. You just got to choose the colors that you want to use. 
we can now come down to user groups. This is where I said earlier, if you want to create any user groups, you can add them here. So if you tap over here, you can create a name, color, an icon for them um, and different categories as well. Much in the same way, you can add categories and then to them categories, you can add the user groups. You can in fact add ads on this as well. Um, you can just do this by coming down to the plus. Um, you can name it, add the code, um, choose the location and hit save. And lastly, you have the settings. Now, this is where you can control everything on your forum, who's allowed to log in, um, you know, the descriptions, replies per page, um, who the approval needs uh, approval by. As you can see here, approval needed uh, for new topics from. And then you would want to change this um, to guests or guests and normal users. Um, and yeah, I just would take some time going through this. Of course, they have got a lot of options. We're not going to sit th through here and go through all of them. Most of them are self-explanatory and just need a good looking at and just seeing if you want to actually use them or not. So thanks for watching, guys. For any more videos like this, don't forget to check out the Seeker Host website. You can get yourself online in 60 seconds. They've got some really great packages on there, and it's really super quick and easy for you to actually get yourself online, start blogging. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.